Hi there. No employer will ever pay you good amount of salary, good amount of bonus for you to be able to become wealthy. It is upon you to take control in your own hands to decide that you gonna take steps which are gonna ensure you build wealth and hopefully at the end of it, you're gonna ensure you obtain the much elusive financial freedom. That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. How exactly or which steps could you possibly take to ensure you work towards building wealth and ultimately you becoming financially free? You are all much welcomed to the Money Daily YouTube channel. I'm yours, Afagza Sifuna. And by the way, if you're new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribe for you to be getting daily insights on how you could possibly multiply your money and over time build wealth. Having said that, we've all seen awesome statistics out there about the wealthy people, the millionaires, the billionaires out there. Of course, we've also seen the plethora of information with regards to how they made their wealth. For example, they're going to tell you Bill Gates is wealthy because he has investments in technology sector, right? He has investments, for example, in financial services and so forth. For example, Warren Buffett is wealthy because he is actually investing in low value stocks and over time these stocks are becoming of high and high value. Actually putting all his bet on different financial sectors out there. They're going to tell you, for example, Aliko Dangote is rich because he is going very hard on manufacturing and so forth. No one tells you what steps you need to take for you to ensure you start working right towards building wealth. And I'm saying so because, yes, people might out there tell you, you need, for example, to jump in this and this sector. And by the way, just scrolling on the internet, you're going to see different blogs, different websites, and even different YouTube channels out there, for example, telling you, go and buy XYZ stocks, right? Go and buy XYZ cryptocurrencies, right? Go and buy this kind of course out there, right? Go and buy this kind of book. It's going to work you wealthy and so forth. You know, people are actually pushing to you products and services, which most likely they actually getting commissions of these products in case you go and buy off the links they share with you or even of the pointers they lead you to or even those codes they give you to use. But the reality is that you buying these different products out there, you engaging in affiliate marketing and so forth is not automatically going to make you wealthy. And that's so because there are some key steps everybody has to follow, everybody has to consider for them to be rightfully set towards making wealth. And by the way, as they say, everyone has respect or trust in the process. There's no shortcut in this. You have to do your due and then over time, the market or whichever particular kind of business or even investment you jump into is going to reward you because you have done your homework, you are persistently and consistent on it, and then over time, you can realize the rewards. Having said that, the five steps which you need to follow are these. Step number one, you need to ensure you build your knowledge base and your skill sets. What do I mean? At the end of the day, it is your knowledge which is going to inform you whether you need to maneuver in a given way in any particular terrain. And it is the same when it comes to investing. It is the same when it comes to jumping in the stock market, right? It is the same when it comes to you jumping on different passive income ideas. It is the same when it comes to jumping in different side hustle ideas. Knowledge is power. Ensure you go out there, obtain as much knowledge as you can in a particular field you are interested in. Actually, get knowledge as much as you can regarding assets, regarding businesses you want to jump in before you decide whether to jump in them or not in the first place. Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power and lack of knowledge is going to actually make you lose your money faster. And then the second thing is be very careful and in fact, choose the assets you want to jump on very, very wisely. What do I mean? It is important for you to actually do your own analysis. I'm talking about technical analysis and fundamental analysis before you jump or decide to invest in an asset out there. And even I'm talking about you investing, for example, in the stock market, in the cryptocurrency, you buying accentuated funds, for example, you buying mutual funds, you buying indices and so forth. You need to do your own analysis. There are actually different pundits out there saying different things. You know, we have very many internet YouTube gurus out there saying different things. But do your own analysis to understand 
based on the charting in the market. What does this particular stock tell you about its history in the market, its current price, and also based on predictions of different models out there and charts out there? What does this particular analysis tell you about its future outlook? Okay, that is the technical analysis which we need to do. And even beyond that, information which charting can't reveal, you need to do fundamental analysis. Essentially, reading to understand what that particular stock is all about, right? What that particular company, champion that stock is all about. How is their management? What is their future outlook like? And by the way, all this information is mostly available in the company websites and also in different exchange platforms out there where different stocks and securities are listed on. So ensure you do technical and fundamental analysis. Okay. And then the third thing, it is also quite significant for you to seek help. In fact, professional help where your muscle doesn't reach. In essence, if you know you have a handicap with regards to investing knowledge, go out there, seek knowledge of, for example, investment banks, knowledge of, for example, those accredited stock brokers who are going to assist you with the industry insight. And then you're going to know what exactly you're supposed to do. And they're going to guide you very well with regards to how you can go about doing that particular investment. And then the fourth thing which most people out here forget is that track your investment, track all the transactions you make in the market, track everything you do very wisely. And I'm saying so because most people out there invest and they think money is just going to grow by itself. No, beyond investing, there's need for you to be monitoring to stay up to date with regards to what developments are out there in the market, with regards to what more can you do to ensure your stock, for example, increase in value, your investment, for example, increase in value. Even if you are, for example, in real estate, what can you do, for example, for your property to become of higher and higher value? Okay, ensure you track what you do with any investment regularly. And I'm not saying you track day in, day out basis because it is good to do that, but also don't panic. Let the market continue building and building. And then over time, you're going to be able to make money. And then lastly, and also related to that, ensure you use a concept called compounding. In essence, you're not cashing out profits you're getting. Rather, ensure the business continues to grow on top of each and every profit you get. That way, you're going to continue building and building, and ultimately, you're going to build a good business empire. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I look forward to sharing with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye, and you all take care.